Okay, and welcome to our final column multiplication session. This one is uh, a bit more advanced, so this is for those of you that would like to move on to something harder. We're actually going to try a three-digit by a four-digit uh, number. So those of you that think this might be a little bit tricky for you, uh, don't worry about it. You can leave this one, but this is for those of you that want to have a go. Um, okay. Now, again, with this one, we do need to worry about lining columns up again. Um, a lot of people put the three-digit number at the top. Um, I don't. I put the two-digit at the top, but it's commutative, so it doesn't matter. Um, if whatever way round you do do it, just make sure that um, you adjust the pattern that I'm doing so that it works your way round. I just happen to put the two-digit at the top. I find that easier. So our number system for this one, our dot system, is going to be slightly different because we've now got uh, an extra digit. Now, of course, don't forget we've got to line these columns up so the hundreds here is on its own. Uh, we've got the two ones, the two tens, and the hundreds on its own. First thing is to line those up. So the first part's the same. We're going to multiply the two uh, units together, the ones together, sorry. So 7 times 5 is 35, we'll put in the 5 and carry the 3. Okay, number 2, we've got the same as we had before, so this time we're going to be doing the 7 times the, uh, oh I've got more colours there, the 7 times the 4. So if you just look at where this cross is going, we're going uh, right to right, then we're going from right to the middle, and you can probably guess we're then going to be ending up going right to all the way over to the left. It's slightly easier in a way actually, because the pattern is more logical this way. Right, so we're going to be doing the 6, no we're not, forget that, sorry, we're going to be doing the 7 with the 4. So 4 7s are 28, but then we've got to add this 3 on, which gives us 31. So we put in the 1, and again we've got a 3 that we carry. Okay, this time we're not bringing down the 0 yet, because we haven't finished using that 7 yet. So if you've seen, it's all on the 7 so far. So now we've got to go from the 7 all the way across to the 3. So we're still using that 7, but this time we're going all the way across to the 3. So we've now got 3 7s, which are 21. Add the 3 that we carried here. So 3 7s are 21, add 3 is 24. We've run out of columns, so we put that in. Now, our next job is the same as before, to bring down the 0. And then we can do everything that we did before, but on the 6. So this time we're going this way, 6 to 5, and then 6 to 4, 6 to 3. I actually prefer this uh, 3 by 2 than a 2 by 2, because it's easy to go bump, 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 and then swap numbers, bump, bump, bump. So you're just working left to, uh, right to left with each number. I'm having trouble with my left and right. Uh, you're just working right to left on each number. So we're now doing uh, 6 times 5, which is 30. So we put in the 0, regroup the 3. Now we're doing uh, where are we? Straight down the middle. So 6 to 4. 6 times 4 is um, 24. Add the 3, which gives us 27. And then we're finishing off. So 7 steps on this one. Not so much room. We're finishing off this time here. So we're doing 6 times 3, which is 18. Add our 2 that we've regrouped, which gives us 20. 
and then obviously we've got to do column addition there. 5 add nothing, 1 add nothing, 7 add 4 is 11, 2 add 1 is 3, 2 add nothing is 2. 23,115. Um, so the pattern here, again, just to show you, this is why I prefer putting the two digit at the top, would be bump, 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 and then swap digits on the top, bump, bump, bump. You just work your way from right to left, remembering to bring down that zero. If you reversed it and had six, seven, three, four, five. So if you reversed it and had three, four, five, and sixty-seven, I won't draw the dots out. Sorry about the messy writing. Just to show you, it would be um, the same thing, but you'd be working upwards that way and then that way. So you would do um, seven times five is thirty-five. Group three, I'm really having trouble with this stylus. Um, four times seven is 28, add three is 31, and then three times seven is 21, add the three is 24, bring down a zero, then six times five is 30. So you can see I'm actually ending up with exactly the same way. Six times four is 24, add three is 27, and then six times three is 18, add the two. Is 20. So you've ended up exactly the same. Um, just reverse the pattern. 7, 0 is 2. Um, sorry, it's 3 because we've got to have the regroup 1. And then 2 down there. 23,115, which is what we've got there. That was a bit messy, that last page. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, so that one was just for those of you that wanted that little bit more advanced. Again, Get this pattern copied down. Uh, get this pattern copied down, as I just said. Sorry, video pause there. You can set your own numbers. There's nothing to stop you um, just having a go by yourself. Just give yourself a three digit and a two digit, or a two digit and a two digit, or a one digit and a two, or a one digit and a three digit, whatever you want, and you can give yourself those. But do copy all these down just to give you uh, that little extra help and get your times table square if you need it. Okay, and I think that was the final one I'm going to do of these on column multiplication. I hope they were useful. And uh, I might do some on bus stop next, because I know in the um, the test we did at the end, some of you really struggled to remember how to do bus stops, so I might do those ones next. Okay, see you soon, I hope. Bye.